Oh, hi. What's going on? That was a hair flip, and this is a tutorial. And that was bad hair. Hello, everybody. My name is Keon, and OBS Studio has a problem. So let's say you have a scene, and you want to make a joke like, Hello, darkness, my old friend. So you take your face cam and you duplicate it. You then add a black and white filter to the duplicate. But did you know that if you duplicate that source, it's an identical copy and the filter is on both sources? Well, there's no way to turn off that filter with a simple press of a key. So what are you gonna do? And that's what I'm gonna show you today. So inside of OBS, I have my main scene here, which is just gameplay and then also my face cam. Add a new scene. We're gonna just turn it black and white for simplicity purposes. We're gonna call this main scene black and white. We're going to add source. We're going to add scene, main scene. And there it is. There's our main scene, right? We then right click on the scene itself, go to filters, add a new filter, go to color correction, black and white, drop down the saturation. And just like that, we now have two instances of the same scene with entirely different looks. Now, normally when you would do this, the filter would be applied to every instance of that source. But because we're using scene nesting, this filter will only apply to this scene. And the most beautiful part about all of this is that you can't turn on individual filters for individual sources, but you can easily switch to a different scene seamlessly and everyone will have no idea. And that's it. It's a really powerful tool that you can use to any number of memes. I've made so many different meme scenes inside of my stream that you can totally check out at twitch.tv forward slash caps lock key on today and follow me and talk to me there. If you can think of a creative way to use this tool, please share it with me. I'd love to know. Speaking of which, if you learned something today, you kind of got to like and retweet this. It's kind of a contractual obligation at this point. Think of it as my payment for helping you out in some way. If you have any questions, never hesitate to ask me. I'm always happy to help you guys out. But other than that, I just want to say thanks for watching. Keep calm. I'm Keon, and I'll see you guys in the next video.